So we got a big problem over here, especially if you're a Jewish person, okay? So what's the problem we have? Well, um, uh, it doesn't really look real good. Israel knew about the first Hamas attack a year in advance. Of course they did. There's no way to climb over the fence or bulldoze the fence without a million alarms ringing. So the people that died on October 7th were sacrificed as far as this information is concerned. I hope it's not true. All right, again, I have family living in Israel. I'm not here to do this or that or any of this other crazy shit you're thinking. But it's impossible for that attack to be carried out unless it was upon sacrifice. Those people were just led to rampage for hours and hours. So now all of Gaza could be completely flattened and um, the people are going to be pushed out in the Sinai Peninsula and then distributed around the world and then that land is going to be taken over and then perhaps the oil that's discovered or whether that's true or not over, off the coast is going to be used and uh, um, a big deal for Israel. So there's a lot of dirty... What's the point here? The point is there's a lot of serious powers at play and it's an embarrassment for me who has a Jewish heritage to be tied into this. And I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to be a part of the Jewish people that were killed and, or whatever, raped or, or, or all that other stuff. I don't want to be a part of those children. And neither should anybody. I see a lot of celebrities, a lot of this, back and forth, battling each other, creating another generation of hatred, another generation of terrorism. Everybody's blind to that. So this problem could be resolved. The issue was that, you know, they're firing small little rockets and then it's $150,000 to block each one. They were weighing them down, ripping it off. And, you know, this guy right here is, is a fucking piece of shit. He's got some good points. He's got some good strategies. But in the end, he's a liar. And 9-11 and all that. So none of these things are happening over anybody's head. Okay, just like in this country, the people in the Twin Towers were sacrificed so they could go into the industrial military complex and get those crazy contracts. Billions and trillions of dollars were, were, were being printed. National debt's now $33 trillion, $34 trillion because of uh, these characters that pull it off. And if you don't believe me, let me tell you. Well, if you were not watching C-SPAN, and if you didn't see that Judiciary Committee hearing today, this was Wake quite up, a world. mess. But we were trying to get my subpoenas of Jeffrey Epstein's flight logs. And yeah, good luck with that. This guy was murdered inside, a, uh, a prison, inside the prison system. The case was swept under the other rug. So what is happening in your world so you'd understand? The most obvious thing is what's actually happening. Vast amounts of money being printed, stolen, to have sex on a private island with children. That's what your world is like. And all the people that don't understand that are the ones that are letting this type of shit facilitate. The Hillary, this and this. All. It's all bullshit. They're all hypocrites. You're on your own. They're not helping you. There's a vast amount of evil in this world. And they're ripping you off, and they're going through that. So the Democrat-led Senate Judiciary Committee, of course, they're not going to. They don't want to, to find out who's been on that flight. All those videos that were seized, all those people that commit the most heinous crimes. You're talking about Elon Musk right now. They're bit pissing and moaning and trying to take him down because of some fucking tweet. While these guys are raping children, and they get away scot-free. Letting these kibbutzes, people roaming around, Hamas, murdering here, there. Um, uh, that's the news. That's the tracks news. That's the truth. That's the reality. And it's a shame, you know, that that is the case. And it's going to be recompense for that. You know, this promised land, Israel, okay? If you're Jewish and you're watching this, do you know what Israel means? The word? Israel. El being God. All right? It's a struggle with God. A struggle that we're losing, you know, a struggle that we're losing. It's a spiritual struggle. Um, it's not just, uh, you know, some people like, oh, they think that uh, Israel is just given to, to the Jew. Here, have it, enjoy, it's all for you. No, it's not just like that. There's specific conditions, if you want to go read the Pentateuch, to 
to keep this land and uh, to have it that are obviously not being met because of uh, horrible shit. That's my understanding of it. I'm sharing it with you. Unfortunately, I'm right. And you're living in a very disgusting world with a lot of sinister people behind the scenes and all the dumbasses that are to facilitate that and make that happen. The corporate profits are talking to Elon Musk over there. He's telling them practically to go fuck themselves at this point. Because they're like, oh, what about this? What about the profits? What about that? What about a little extra dollar and this and that? And the people think that it's, you know, um, uh, everybody over there deserves to die and all the tunnels and all the shit and all this other stuff. It's a shame. And if you want to watch this now, and then when you're going to see these people being pushed out into Sinai or being pushed out of Gaza and then sprinkled around Canada where a pussy bitch boy, Justin Trudeau, is uh, another puppet and this sh shadowy group or organization that let the COVID happen, all of a sudden keep playing these games and Soros is throwing his last darts. Doesn't look good. Doesn't feel good. Right? Um, uh, to be Jewish right now with all the shit going on. Doesn't fucking look good at all. Right? With people like Epstein and Soros and this fucking idiot. You know, it, it, it committing heinous crimes. Doesn't look fucking good. It, I know what it was like, you know, for a large community of people when you had characters like Bin Laden in the world and so on and so forth. Now you got these fucking idiots. And it's disgusting. And you got to admit it what it is. I don't want to be a part of that shit, that's for sure.